Hello, I am Ramakrishna. Today we will learn and explore basics of Docker. So what is Docker? According to Wikipedia, Docker is a set of platform as a service, yes, product that uses OS level virtualization to deliver software in a packages called containers. Containers are isolated from one another and bundle their own software. So Docker, it's one of those technologies that seems to be everywhere, uh, whether you are a junior developer or just a starting out or a seasoned .NET developer. At some point in your career, you mostly like to come across Docker for .NET. So we know that uh, Docker is a platform as a service and that is PaaS. So what is a container then? So a container is a specific instance of a, such an image. You can think of images of a class definition and classes as a class instances. Just like a class definition in a OOP world, an image defines the structure which the container then parameterizes. So in this session, we will create a Docker image using Visual Studio as an IDE. So what are the prerequisites to create this project? So let us see which for a windows i have docker desktop uh, installed pre-installed already installed and to use docker we need to log into app.docker.com and create your account like i do in this session so i already signed up for the docker hub so i already have an uh, example repository in the hub so let us start with a creating project in the visual studio id so we're gonna start create a new project this is a dotnet core project select dotnet core web application give an appropriate name Click on create, select web application model view controller, let, uh, let us have this configure HTTPS and you can enable docker support, docker support for windows and linux. <coughs> we know that uh, docker will be well supported for linux platform so just choose a linux and uh, create a project well we created the project so let's see the docker file so visual studio itself created in docker file to add a uh, docker file to existing project we can go and add from here docker support or we can also have a container orchestra support for kubernetes files so this is how a basic docker file looks like so just uh, uh, run this project and make sure everything works fine in this demo so go to the views um, to just for our understanding just uh, change the content bit over here so let us say hello now run the project and see if everything working fine as the project is working fine so let us publish this project to docker hub and 
once we publish properly we'll see the repository like this uh, we'll get create a new repository here we'll see how to do that through visual studio so to publish this dotnet core app to docker hub we go to publish and we will create a docker image new profile deploy your docker image so it is for azure platform so go to container registry select docker hub and click on create profile type your username and password so just save this well so we successfully able to connect our docker hub let's just click on the publish now yes we get an error so let us see what is this error let us check that uh, we already logged in in docker desktop yes we already logged in this is to docker hub So as far now project is deploying properly maybe last time it was network issue i believe as one thing is to you we need to use a docker yeah uh, we, we also have, we should have a good internet connection for this otherwise if you if you use through mobile uh, hotspot uh, it won't work if it is not a good network so please make sure that you have good internet connection while creating a docker images and working with docker and kubernetes or azure etc well our project is uh, pushing to docker hub Yes, uh, now image is successfully pushed to docker image so let us see in the docker uh, we can see it in our repository as uh, we got our uh, demo image successfully created to docker uh, so well guys that's it uh, today we have using uh, just today as an idv we created a .NET core project and published it to the docker hub and now we can use this using azure or any platform we can host it to uh, apache server or an iss so that's it guys thank you very much for watching if you like the video please hit a like and subscribe thank you